Let's go deeper. Watch this. Hot stuff. Yeah, this hot stuff is your basic everyday soda lime glass. There's nothing remarkable about it except that it's white hot and molten. There we go, and I'm going to drop it in cold water. It's called a Prince Rupert drop. Who's Prince Rupert? Some Bavarian from the 1600s. He came up with this. Okay, so there's a few things going on here. The cold water rapidly cools the exterior surface of the glass, hardening it almost immediately. The interior, still molten, cools more slowly. As it cools, it contracts and attempts to pull the surface in with it, but it can't. Well, not very much. The surface is already hardened, so it gets pulled in only a little, compressing it while also creating an internal layer that remains forever under tension. It is this action that gives the glass its uncharacteristic strength. We call it compressive strength. Hmm. It sounds like the same principle as how an arch provides strength in structural engineering. Yes, kind of. Now, Jamie, I'm going to ask for your help. We're going to attempt to destroy this Prince Rupert drop. I just want you to tip that hammer past its center point. Go ahead. I feel like we've been swindled. Swindled not. We have just experienced the power of compressive strength. It does, however, have an Achilles heel. Take those nippers right there and nip the backside of the tail of this Prince Rupert drop and watch what happens. Wait, wait, wait. Cue the high-speed camera. Okay, here we go. was even cooler than I thought it would be. That is what happens when you release the stress in compressive strength glass. The whole thing shatters. Spectacularly. Yes. Well, at least in that example it was. That's because the stress was so great between the outer compressive layer and the inner tension layer. That when released, it was a catastrophic result. 